Detective Paul Thibodeau was born with cystic fibrosis, but he's worked in law enforcement for most of his adult life. Eventually, the disease took away most of his lung function, leaving him clinging to life and barely breathing. Ultimately, though, it would be someone else's tragedy that would give him another chance at life and at the job he loved. We are introducing you to Detective Paul Thibodeau in our new series called Giving Life. Early in April, the Thibodeau Police Department tweeted out this picture, welcoming Detective Paul Thibodeau back to the department. The 35-year-old narcotics detective has been in law enforcement for 15 years and with this department for five. But for the last year, he's been recovering from a double lung transplant. Um, I was born with cystic fibrosis and uh, it's a degenerative disease. So uh, through the years, I stayed pretty healthy. Until things took a turn for the worse. Um, same thing, I went down to 108 pounds and I was like 15, like 12 to 15 percent lung function, oxygen 24 hours a day. Can't, can't get up and walk, none had to hold my, give me my oxygen tank everywhere I went. In the house, is sitting down, I need to be on oxygen. Detective Thibodeau needed new lungs or he would die. The Chauvin native was put on a wait list. He clung to life for nearly five months until his saving grace arrived. My first donor, he was a Marine. Thibodeau actually wanted to join the military himself, but couldn't because of his health issues. In a twist of fate, the death of a 22-year-old Marine would provide his second chance at life. Detective Thibodeau had his double lung transplant on May 30th of 2015. The date is tattooed on his arm. I thought the first one was going to be was going to be it. Unfortunately, that transplant would not be the end of Detective Thibodeau's health battles. That surgery would be his first double lung transplant, but not his only. And he knew almost immediately that something wasn't right. It, it didn't feel like it took real well because because uh, like my body wasn't accepting them, the lungs that well because I kept having a little bout of rejection even though I was healthy. I, I still had to go in and get antibiotics right now and then. There were lots of complications and lots of stress. Stress that he says ultimately cost him his marriage. But he was moving forward and had gone back to work until January of 2017 when he caught a virus. I was down to 12% lung function. Detective Thibodeau needed new lungs again. I almost died getting the test done. I stopped breathing on, on uh, the heart echo when they went in, they go into your neck and they hit my port. They believe they did something where it let air into my chest cavity and collapsed my lungs. This time he was put back on the wait list, but just for five weeks. On August 21st of 2017, he was back at Oxner for his second double lung transplant. You feel a million times better the second you get off from the transplant. This time, he stayed feeling better, and he is beyond grateful to both of his donors. I, I'm friends with the family of my first donor. He wants to meet the family of his second donor, but there is a one-year waiting period before he can even check to see if they want to meet him. I just hope they know, they realize how many people's families, how many lives are changing. My first donor saved, I believe, like five of us. Like, saved five people. You know, I just want them to know that it means more than, more than anybody can tell them. For Detective Thibodeau and many others, those donors show that organ donation turns loss into life. Detective Thibodeau's story is really amazing yeah. and actually very rare. To have to get a double lung transplant redone has only been done actually three times at Oxner yeah, since I was 2010. Gonna, I was going to ask, how yeah. unusual is that? They've only done it three times, including his one time at Oxner since 2010. And to find a donor, because that, that that oftentimes, and one of the reasons we do a lot of these stories is to, you know, to, to, to let people know it's important to become a donor. It really is because what a tragedy for the family that lost this 22 year old Marine, sure. but because of his life, five other people were saved. So it really turns into a giving of life. Well, and, and then and I, I know I have a cousin who, who died uh, years ago and his heart was donated to a man. And, and, and I always thought it's wonderful because my cousin was still alive a bit, you know? Yeah. yeah. It gives them a new chance at life. Especially when families way. get to keep up with those other families. In fact, yeah, and he that. says that they're great friends now. They get together for holidays. He talks to his donor's mom almost every oh, day cool. now. Wow. That's cool. Yeah.